Right. Now the next is the, the standardized patients. Uh, standardized patients are specialists, are independent specialists. They are trained to portray patient scenarios for the instruction and assessment of clinical skills of medical students. So these are people who are not really from medical background, they, uh, but they are trained extensively to portray uh, different patient scenarios. Uh, I, I'll explain a little bit more in the, the, the next slides that how uh, that is done and, and used. And they, this is not something new. It's, I think, almost already 60 years old that the standardized patients were first introduced in, in medical education. Standardized patients, as the name says, offer a standardized controlled experience for learners. It means that the, the, every student who comes uh, to have an encounter with these patients, they would have the same kind of scenario, same kind of story, same kind of symptoms, uh, 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 which the they standardized patients would, would uh, offer to them. Uh, these sessions are measurable and reproducible. That, that's important uh, because they are, have been trained. So uh, we one might think that why we cannot use the other students, for example, uh, rather than the simulated patients. But unlike peer role play or the use of actors, uh, the, because these are standardized, so uh, the, these sessions can are are reproducible, so it means that every student would be getting the same kind of experience. Uh, these standardized patients, they receive uh, a rigorous training to maintain a consistent and highly realistic portrayal. This is very important aspect of uh, the standardized patients that they need to have um, really um, a quite uh, intensive training and uh, repeatedly so that they can um, paint a picture as uh, realistic as possible. They are also prepared extensively to give feedback to trainees on communication and interpersonal skills. So even sometimes they help in scoring uh, the students because they are given these uh, checklists and they can uh, assess the, the, uh, the activity of uh, or, or the, the skill of a student by using these scoring uh, uh, checklists. Uh, standardized patient methodology is, uh, is valid and reliable and is acknowledged by at international level, for example, LCME and ACGME, and they have been used extensively in both undergraduate and uh, postgraduate education, both for teaching as well as for assessment purposes. So the use of standardized patients facilitates practice in critical thinking, patient safety, crisis management, team interaction, decision making, and communication skills in addition to acquisition of competence and clinical techniques and procedures. Uh, can you please mute yourself? Because it's, can you please mute yourself? All right. So, these, uh, they, they have a lot of uh, uh, these, uh, these advantages. As I mentioned, uh, ranging from critical thinking to the clinical techniques and, and the procedures. Uh, the studies have uh, validated that the standardized patients provide a high level of skill acquisition and retention. Having said that, uh, 
one must not forget that these patients need extensive training and uh, we need to, to spend some time and resources on that. But that is one time. So once they are trained, uh, they can be helpful in many, many uh, uh, sessions to come. So standardized patients can be used to teach and assess history taking, communication skills, counseling skills, ethics, attitude and interpersonal skills. Students, they help in students by using the checklist uh, to assess technique of physical examination as well as teach and assess uh, these functions by providing feedback to the students and by mimicking some abnormal findings. For example, limited uh, movements of joints, brisk reflexes, or pain of appendicitis. So they are trained in this and they would um, uh, mimic and uh, uh, act in a way that uh, looks like a real patient. But because they are standardized patients, so they would give a uniform experience to all the students who come in encounter with them. 